Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing another office tour. I did do something similar to this like three months ago. And then I wanna say four months ago, I did a video where I talked about things I purchased for my paper business. So if you are new around here, this is a cash budgeting channel. We do all things related to budgeting, cash stuffing, financial planning, that kind of thing. But I also work on Etsy and YouTube full time. So sometimes I have some of these kinds of videos. So I'm basically going to be running through everything that's in my office now, as well as must haves and like things that I wish I would have purchased sooner and things I wish I would have made a priority sooner in this journey. I did start Etsy almost six months ago. I started YouTube six months ago. So all of this has gone, it's been really quick for me. It's been such a blessing, but things are growing quickly and things are evolving quickly. So I just want to continue to share this journey with you guys. So if you are brand new with a business, you may want to go back and watch my older video where I talked about like the bare bones of what I've purchased, but I'm basically kind of expanding on that now. So let's just jump right into it. This is going to be like an office tour slash what I would purchase if I were you. So when you first walk in the door, this is the overview of the office. So things have changed a little bit because I needed more storage just overall. So we will discuss that as we go. First, when you walk in, there is a board on the floor that says hear it, say it, think it, become it. And then it has my financial goal for my business for the year, which is $200,000, which I know is a, is a big goal. But again, that is my financial goal for the business. That's not take home pay. And then I have financial goals for 2022 down here on that little piece of paper. I would like to hang that somewhere. It just has not happened yet. And that brings you to this first storage cubby here. So like I said, I am a paper-based business. All of this here, guys, this is what I've been working on the last couple days. If I've been a little MIA on YouTube, it is because I have been cutting all of these challenge cards that I sell on my Etsy shop. These are printables on my Etsy shop, but you can pay an additional fee to have them printed and shipped to you. And that's what all of this is. Is that not crazy? I've never been ahead before. So this is me being ahead on orders and it feels so nice to kind of have a backup, things that I can grab. So when somebody buys this car loan tracker, for example, I can just come over here, pull it and pack it. Whereas before I was literally cutting a few of them at a time with like one of these paper cutters, which is nuts. These are also something that I sell in my Etsy shop and I no longer laminate them. So that is saving me time and they are being professionally printed right now from a new printer. And that printer is going to print and cut them for me. Whereas before I've been having them professionally printed, but then I have to cut and corner them myself. So that is also going to be saving me time. I have been very blessed to be making a lot of money on Etsy and YouTube these last few months as people get their budgets together for the new year. And a lot of that money is being reinvested into speeding up my process and making some things a bit more professional and easier on me. This spot is kind of empty. I did order some professional cards that I will be including in orders. Focus, focus, there we go. So this is the current card that goes in orders. There will be new cards coming from Instaprint. So that is going to also, again, just speed up my process. It's something that I've really invested in lately is speeding up things for me so that I can get back on YouTube a little bit more as well as work on the paper planner business more, which you guys know I really wanna launch. I currently have two different sizes of these cellophane little package things and they just live right there. So that is for packing some of these smaller items into. And then you guys know, I also sell, let me grab one of these. So I also sell customized stickers. This is pretty much the only thing in my shop still that is something that I have to make from scratch every single time. But these are labels that people can tell me what they want on them. And then they can put them on their envelopes in their, in their cash budgeting system. So like, I think it's really important that I keep including those in the shop, even though it is something that I have to custom create every single order. But that's basically the last thing in my shop that I'm custom creating every single order or like when people order those. But I'm just mentioning that because these I cut down and then it fits perfectly in this larger size cellophane. And then the smaller one is what all of these trackers go into. I do think the cellophane is really important. It makes things look a little bit more professional. And that is an update that has happened recently in the shop. Not recent recent, but like since the last time we chatted. I also use these stickers on orders. Why won't this focus? 
or like whenever I am shut like closing a bundle so I don't know if you can see there but if somebody purchases the 24 pack of the new bundle set of trackers for $11.99 on the shop then that just sort of helps me make it look a little better a little more professional this Guys, we will be updating this soon together, my Q4 goals. As you can see, these are the ones that I met. Up here are goals that I did not meet. Those are in the middle are things that I was still working on. Guys, when I started this Q4 goals, it's like pretty literally exactly when I started YouTube and Etsy. I kind of had no idea what I was doing. Some of my goals just weren't really on focus for what my long-term goal was, nor did they include the fact that Etsy was going to become as busy as it did so we are going to reset our q1 goals we will do better this time with completing the goals and they will be moved down to that like completed line anyway we will talk about that in another video <laughs> moving back to talk about equipment things i have a lot of this was in my last video and it's kept the same so first here is basically like the junk drawer of the office it has planners and things that i use and then down here there's just some extra supplies these are the envelopes that go inside the binders. So there's my envelopes, binders, and binders. I sell all of those in the shop. And then I have three different cutters. My favorite out of all of these is this one. So if you are just starting with some kind of a paper shop or something where you're needing to cut small quantities, this is upside down. Whoop, you'll see that hand work? Okay. So if you are just needing to cut small quantities of things, I really like this Fiskars one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is the Fiskars one that has just a single like triangle blade almost. I have this Fiskars cutting machine and it has a circle blade on it and it does not cut near as well as this one. I still use this one quite often for different little projects. However, I used to use this to cut all of these different things, which I do not recommend. <laughs> and we will get into that in just a second. Over here, we just have some cutters and things that I don't use very often. We also have some tape. I highly, highly recommend the Duck, Duck brand, Duck Easy Start. I was using another popular brand. Where is it? Scotch brand is what I initially bought, Scotch for shipping. It is so loud and hard to tear off this tape. It is ridiculous. I feel like I'm gonna wake up the neighbors every time I use it. This Easy Start Duck brand is way better. Just uh, not sponsored or connected in any way. I just really prefer the Duck brand Easy Start to the Scotch. So this is kind of organized the same way as it was before where some of my materials are there and there. And then over here we have shipping related stuff. So of course, packing tape. And then here are all of the different envelopes and things that I use to ship my items. I do wanna say that I said in a past video that these nine by seven, these no bend envelopes, like I didn't know what I was gonna do with them and I kind of regretted buying them. They have worked out perfectly for some of the things that I ship. So like, I'm kind of taking that back. I think if you end up buying something and you're like, oh man, like I can't even use that, it was a poor purchase. Don't panic because you will probably find that there are things that you do need them for. And I don't think I said this, but I am gonna link every single thing that I can think of in that, like I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna link it in the description below. I did change envelopes as well to this Az Azaza, <laughs> Azaza brand. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I will link it below. Primarily use it for if somebody is just buying like a few of these trackers and I can ship it cheaper that way. It can ship for like 50 to 70 cents if somebody just buys a few of them. If somebody buys more of them and they can't, what is it called? Like ship like regular mail, like you know, where you're just buying a stamp. I will put them in this smaller bubble mailer. I feel like it's pretty well protected in this bubble mailer and it fits all of these kinds of things perfectly. Again, I'll link those, I'll link these below. And then I have a bigger bubble mailer, which is what I use to ship the binders in. And I think I covered all of that. So moving over underneath the printers, I do have these for just in case somebody purchases one of the full size printables and they have it printed and shipped. That doesn't happen very often, but just when it does, I'm ready. And then these boxes, they handle the two binders. Like if somebody orders two binders or more, I can put them in these bigger boxes. Okay, so moving away from all of that, let's come over here. I do have two printers now. My older one, I realized, Pretty recently it started not working super great, so I bought another one because this printer has been working just fine for me for years. I am curious to see how this one holds up using it as often as I do. I have another one on the way, so I will basically have two brand new of these printers. I love these printers. I think they work just fine. It's the HP OfficeJet Pro 6978. You can find those on 
Amazon for, I want to say $110. So they're pretty affordable for a printer. They're also instant ink, which I do use not sponsored in any way, but HP, if you want to sponsor me, I absolutely love and recommend HP for instant ink and this printer in particular, I have loved it. So again, so this is just the older one I've had for a couple of years. I still use this older printer for printing orders, like the slip that goes inside the packages. So I'm still using this one, but this is what I use to pr print all of the things so that they look great. And then I will have another one. I'm going to set up right there. And then down there is just plain paper again for the orders to go into that printer. This is kind of a scattered video. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> okay. So moving away from the printers, I now have this professional cutting guillotine. I said it wrong to my sister and she laughed at me. So it's a guillotine cutter. I can cut like 30 sheets at once, which makes cutting those so much faster. Instead of using one of the small cutters, I can print them and then cut them as sets. And this I highly, highly recommend. I want to say it was $200. I'm kind of guessing on that. I did find it on Amazon, so I will link it below. The only issue with it is that, and I've been using it a lot these last few weeks, but this little, the knob fell off. Like the internal hardware just kind of wore out very quickly. To me, that's not a big issue because this still works just fine. But the reason that I love this one is because it has this that you can slide. Let's do this real quick. Okay. So I'm not going to cut my notebook, but let's just pretend that this is in order. You can slide this to line up the papers right there and make sure everything is even. And then with this handle, you can tighten it. So it compresses all of the sheets so they don't move when you actually cut them. And then there's a locking mechanism here. You just click that down, pull down the lever and you can cut so many things at once. I love this thing so much. It has been life changing. There was a tiny bit of a learning curve just as I initially got used to it. So if you get it, just keep that in mind. Same thing with this rounder. This is a corner rounder and I can round say 30 corners at once. You just slide all the sheets in there together and then you punch this down and it cuts all of the corners to the things that I round the corners with before I was using this little guy and it only fits a couple sheets at once. So you can imagine the time that I'm saving with this. This was maybe 150. So these two things in particular, the rounder and the cutting guillotine, I would 1000% say I should have bought those sooner. So if you have an Etsy shop or a business where you're doing a lot of cutting, consider investing into that because it's going to save you so much time. I do want to mention though, if you are just starting your shop and you're not quite sure how things are going to go, I would first get this little corner rounder off of Amazon and I would get the Fiskars like cutting board. I would start with those still two things. Just once your business really starts going, don't be afraid to reinvest some of that money because I waited a little too long. But when you're first starting, you don't want to waste say three or $400. And then you find that this is not something that you want to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So you guys may remember these three shelves on the wall. They have kind of changed purposes at this point. This has different things that I use to film. These are for like that I will be using in upcoming videos. This is where I'm keeping freebies or supplies to create the freebies. So my freebie right now, if you order a physical item from my shop and it's shipped to you right now, you get this $1,000 savings and it comes with stickers that you can put on all of the little spots as you do it. I just thought that was a fun idea. So that is the current freebie and that's where I'm keeping supplies for that just to keep that around and on hand. Here, I do still have some budgeting related paperwork. Some of it has been taken out though as I start to prep taxes for my very first year on Etsy and YouTube for 2021. I did invest in one of these little 12 pocket organizers from Walmart. I wanna say it was like $3. Sorry, I'm like manhandling this. <laughs> I wanna say it was like $3 or so and it just has a pocket on each side. So it has like six of these pages in a pocket on each side. My idea is that I will use it. All of January financial stuff will be in the first pocket. All of February will be in the second pocket, that kind of thing, just to keep my profits and my expenses and all of my information a little bit more gathered and prepared for 2022. Because if y'all saw my last video, that thing was 
This was just overflowing with papers, which was a little nuts. I know this is getting a little lengthy and chatty. I'm sorry. We're moving on to the second half, which doesn't have near as much going on. There is a quick overview. The room did shift around because I needed more storage that way. You guys might remember too, my intention with this desk initially was to put my homeschooler in here. However, I'm working so much at this point that when I'm homeschooling him and I'm working with him, I don't want to be in this office still. So I did just turn this into a, a table for the silhouette because whenever I'm cutting with this machine, I can open the blinds and it gets plenty of sun, which it needs to cut correctly. So that is what is going on in this corner. And then you move onto my desk. This is where I film. I just have sitting over here a planner that I'm currently using for my day to day. This is my light. So whenever I'm filming, I can turn on the light and I open the blinds when I'm filming too, so that there's plenty of sunlight. Miranda sent me this cup and I still use it constantly. I know I've shown it in a past video. There we go, that's better lighting. It says, boy mama from sun up to sundown. I think this is so cute. So Miranda sent me that. Thanks Miranda. And so this is my desk. I just have the same desk and chair that I was using before. And again, I got, I get literally everything on Amazon because I'm scared I'm not gonna like something and Amazon is good about taking stuff back. And I like never bring stuff back, but just knowing that I can, I like to order off of Amazon. So these desks are also from Amazon again, Literally everything I'm showing in this video pretty much is going to be linked below. So last in this corner, I needed more space because I was laminating a lot. And so this is where I set up my laminating machines. I would just turn them, put them here and work on laminating that way. I am no longer laminating anything, at least not currently. So I'm not even using this section right now, but I stopped laminating literally two days ago or something. So this is all new to me. I may be taking this down soon, or I may have times where I'm laminating just like special projects that I'm not selling all the time, but I sell sometimes. So for now I'm leaving that there. A lot of this stuff is really the same. My little shipping caddy, it has all this stuff whenever I'm shipping. I just pull out that whole caddy and all of my stuff is there. This is if I'm filming, so that's all of my filming equipment. This is when I was creating a lot of stuff from scratch. I'm not creating any homemade envelopes or anything right now, so I don't really use that. And then this is planner related stuff that I just like play with sometimes. Down here are the copies of my professionally printed trackers, but these are the ones that I was cutting myself. So I will only be using these for a couple more days while my orders get here for the professionally printed and cut ones. And then I store my papers down here. So I print everything on 110 cardstock. I answer the question from people all the time, what cardstock do I use or do I recommend? There is one, the Pin and Gear brand at Walmart is really nice. However, if you are professionally printing and cutting in your shop or something, there is a really nice brand that's really cheap. It starts with an N. It will be listed below, whatever that brand is, but I get that on Amazon for fairly cheap. And so if you are wanting to buy it in bulk, definitely check out that link. Same with the sticker paper. This is sticker paper that I used to make the labels. Did I order these on? I wanna say that I ordered these through Amazon too, but you can also get them at onlinelabels.com. But I use the remo removable white mat. I think that the regular white mat is great too if you don't mind that it's not removable, but I like to print on those because then people can remove them from the envelopes that I list and sell them on. So. The only thing that we skipped over is something else that I highly recommend that I wish I would have bought sooner. This is a thermal label printer. Ignore the flowers that my kid put here. <laughs> this is a thermal label printer. This is to just quickly print the labels that go on the mail. So like the customer's order information for USPS to get it shipped to them. What am I saying? This is really hard for me to say. The shipping labels. So this is to print the shipping labels for the longest time. And I mean, literally until like four days ago, I was printing things out on the printer and cutting it and then taping it. And it was like a whole thing. Now I just literally hit print on Etsy. It prints over to this and prints within a couple of seconds. And then I can just stick it right on the package. So that along with the guillotine and the corner rounder, those things are things that I definitely should have upgraded much sooner. That I just kind of held out on for a while. So that is it. That is the entire office tour at this point. I keep outgrowing this space. So I do think that the next update that you guys have will be after I move and I will have hopefully a much bigger room for this space as well as paper planners in the space. So we will see. As always though, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.